Hey there, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at The Fit Father Project. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about some practical habits to help you beat stress and really decrease your stress level and increase your overall well-being so that you can lose weight. Because a lot of us, we wanna lose weight. We wanna live healthier. And stress is perhaps the number one enemy of getting healthier and losing weight. Because when our bodies feel like we're in a constantly stressed state, it makes it a lot harder for us to release the weight and to release the fat. And stress is a multifaceted issue. There is physical stress like the fight or flight response we feel when if we were to see you know a wild tiger you know we feel that stress response in our body and that's good because it gets us moving gets us to get out of that situation activates our muscles gets us really revved up but chronic stress is the kind of stress that we deal with in our everyday lives the stress of our jobs of our responsibilities sometimes of our families and that low level stress raises hormones like cortisol that make it hard for us to get rid of the weight so if we wanna lose weight, we need to figure out ways to manage stress. We're gonna cover some of those practical habits in this guide. I think you're gonna learn a ton. Let's dive on in. Fitfatherproject.com. So the first habit I have for you is more of a challenge. And that challenge is to start a five to 10 minute daily meditation practice. And what the new research shows is that meditation is perhaps one of our most powerful and free tools for retraining our brains to be less stressed and more grateful. And meditation doesn't have to be this complicated process and it doesn't matter what your religion is, your belief systems, you can do meditation, which is essentially the process of, in its simplest form, getting yourself in a quiet space, whether that's a nice comfy chair like this, or it's on your bed, and setting a timer for five to 10 minutes and just sitting and trying to be as present as possible. Just watching your breath, observing all the sensations on your body, your skin, watching your thoughts, as they zip by your mind, because a lot of us find that if we really broke down our days, our days are a compilation of all these crazy thoughts that are running through our head all the time, and we're bumping into this thought, to that thought, and we're all over the place. Meditation helps us get more grounded, get more present, and become practiced in the idea of not identifying with the mental chatter that causes so much stress for many of us. So I've linked together below um, associated with this video, a lot of my favorite tools for some simple meditations that you can start. There's some links to YouTube. Um, there are some great meditation um, habits and trackers on your phone. And so one of the good things a cell phone is for is I personally use an app called Insight Timer. They have some great guided meditations. Five minutes in the morning is all you need. And it's a really practical way to really start to decrease your stress levels. The next thing I have for you is to start the practice of gratitude journaling. And this again is research proven. If you're thinking, oh, this stuff sounds so hokey and soft, I used to think so too until I saw the research and started seeing the effects of my own life. So I have my journal here and I use something called the Productivity Planner. Another great one is the five minute journal and these links are below, but this is a simple journal that I fill out every single day that in the morning, it gives me the ability to write down what I'm doing for the day. And what that helps is, you know, offload some of that um, that brain, uh, you can say like CPU power where I have to constantly think about what I'm doing so it's pre-planned. In the morning, it also gives you a chance to write down five things you're grateful for. What are you grateful in your, for in your life today? And what that does in gratitude practice does in the morning, in the evening, those bookends of your day, it helps prime your mind to be more grateful, to be more present, and to look for things that are working in your life as opposed to things that are causing you stress. And over the long haul, a gratitude practice uh, leads to an overall more positive mindset lower levels of stress, greater well-being. And this is one of those simple daily habits that takes literally 30 seconds in the morning and the evening that can change your life forever. But I promise you that unless you have a structured journal like this, it's not gonna get done. You'll get caught up in the busyness of every day. So I'll link below some of the journals that I love. I used a ton of them in the past. This is the one I love right now. It gives me those journals and the, the opportunity to do the gratitude and success in the morning and the evening. Very, very powerful. And if you pair that with the meditation, you have a 10 minute routine that will just supercharge your brain to be more grateful, more present, less stressed. The next thing is to drink more green tea. Now green tea is amazing. And I have my nice brewed vat that I make pretty much every morning where I get a big mason jar like this, put my tea bag, put some hot water in, seal it up and take it on my day. Green tea is amazing because it's research proven um, to help you with fat loss and to help extend lifespan. It's one of the greatest longevity and anti-aging drinks, but what it also does is decrease stress. 
there is a very special compound in green tea, green tea called L-theanine. And what L-theanine does is it helps calm our brains. And it keeps us alert. It's not like it's a, a sleeping pill. It doesn't make you feel exhausted. It just decreases that mental chatter, helps you be a little more calm and focused. And there's some good research that shows that L-theanine at night before bed can help you sleep better, decrease that mental chatter, and really help you essentially have a less stressed brain. And that leads me to my next point is sleep. Sleep is our body's natural stress reset. It's a time where you know, our body can just be still. Our organs and our cells can regenerate and our minds can calm down. We can get rid of the mental chatter and really just regenerate mentally, physically, spiritually. And so any ways we can improve your sleep is gonna help decrease your stress the following day. And you probably know this, on days where you really missed out on sleep, you pulled an all-nighter or you got bad sleep, you're gonna be really stressed the next day. Your body's gonna be off, your mind's gonna be off, and the cascade and the cycle repeats itself. And then when we add coffee into the mix and we artificially elevate ourselves, it turns into this vicious cycle. So getting good quality sleep is essential. We have some links to some really in-depth articles we've written here on the Fit Follower Project blog that cover how to improve your sleep. And using things like L-theanine and melatonin are really effective. The next habit I have for you is to get outside and do some exercise. So there is some really compelling research called the green exercise research that shows uh, that if we exercise outside in the presence of greenery, trees and grass, it is a profoundly calming effect on our brains. And the same exercise that we do inside in a gym is not nearly as effective at getting rid of stress as exercise we do outside. It's called green exercise. And what they also found is that if they take rooms that in the gym and they paint those walls green, it has that calming effect. So there is something about the color green as it relates to being, being active and moving that really calms our brains. And this is probably because our human species has really just grown, developed, and evolved to be in constant contact with nature. And it's only been over the past 150, 200 years where we've really been in these big industrial buildings and we've gotten disconnected from nature. So a really great way to get de-stressed is to get outside, get some fresh air, get some exercise, take a walk, get some good sunshine in your eyes, which also helps regulate your circadian balance. So those are some practical ways to get rid of stress. And my final one is to get plugged into a community. It is stressful to go on the journey of weight loss alone. It's stressful to really just charge down your goals alone when we're social creatures and we want the support and camaraderie um, and, and really just to be able to give and get advice on, on our journey. So one of the things we found here at the Fit Follower Project that is just so effective is as good as our programs are, it's our community of the people who join our programs that support each other and really help decrease the stress because well, there are gonna be times when you feel like you wanna quit your weight loss journey or you wanna throw in the towel or you're losing motivation. And when you have a community of like-minded people or you can do some venting and see some success stories and just share um, and be heard, it's gonna really help your stress levels and keep you more on track over the long term. So I hope you found um, at least one or two things in this video helpful. Again, there's tons of links below where you can dive even deeper and if you're a person on a weight loss journey who wants a completely step-by-step -step plan that covers the nutrition, the exercise, the motivation, the community, the accountability, all the things you need to succeed with a weight loss journey, then I highly recommend you join us here at the Fit Follower Project. Join our Fit Follower 30-day program. Check it out. I think you're going to be blown away at how effective and amazing and supportive the program is. And it's designed exclusively for busy fathers and men over 40 because we're the FFP. This is what we do. So I hope you found this helpful. Scroll below, check out those links, and I'll see you around the blog, and I'll see you in our next videos, my friend.